Welcome back, you guys. It's your girl, Spiritual Sag. So, uh, I had a deep, deep conversation with my oldest son earlier. And, you know, we were just talking about the things that we've been through in our past and planning for the future. And he and I both agreed that, you know, all we have is the here and now. Right? It's, I mean, we really can't go back and change anything that happened in the past. And... If we don't focus on the here and now, ain't going to be no future. Right? So, he's 18, y'all. I'm hoping he will start his motivational speaking channel because he's very, very motivational. And, you know, he has a story as we all have a story. Okay? So, let's see. Let's go in and see. Because I really feel like it's something that has to come out about this conversation that me and my son had. I feel like Spirit wants to tell you guys something. Okay? So, Divine Holy Spirit, ancestors of the highest white light, I ask that you come in and allow me to channel the energy surrounding my collective. Okay? Uh, all right, Spirit, what's going on? What affirmation should my collective be telling myself? Spirit, what affirmation? Thank you, Spirit. All right. So, every <laughs> thank you, Spirit. Every choice I make is bringing me closer to my higher self. Y'all can't see. Every choice that I make is bringing me closer to my higher self. So, again, shit that we done been through in our past, really can't go back and change it. What's the point holding on to it and keep dwelling on it? All we got is the here and now. But you can take the shit that you went through in the past, right, and make better decisions for yourself. But everything that y'all done been through, me included, everything that we go through is bringing us closer to our higher self. Whether it was a good situation or a bad situation, it's what you take out of it. You hear me? Everybody got a fucked up story to tell. I don't give a damn who you are, how much money you make, what color you are. Everybody got that sad side story. You hear me? And then just what it is now is what you take out of it. It's what you take out of it. And what in the fuck you done been through in your past don't make you. It don't make you who you are. Period. Okay? Period. People try to label you like that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe in your hometown back in the day, people know you to be a hoe. Let's just be honest. People know you to be a hoe. You hear me? And so that's how they label you. You done, you done changed your life, bro. You done went through this whole transformation. You have ascended. You are living through your higher self. And when you go home and visit, they refer to you as the high school hoe that they used to know. You can't let your past be your your present moment. You can't, period, point blank. I don't give a fuck how everybody, how everybody else see you, view you, think of you. How they feel about you really ain't none of your motherfucking business at the end of the day. It's what you take out of it. What did you take out of that situation of hoeing? What did you learn when you was out there hoeing? Or when you was out there selling drugs? Or you was when you was out there doing drugs? I know I learned a whole hell of a lot. You hear me? So, okay, I don't even know why I went on that little tangent, but somebody needed to hear that. Fuck all that shit, man. Don't let nobody make you feel like nothing because of your fucking past. Because spirits say every choice that you make is bringing you closer to your higher self. You had to go through them situations. It's your life. Your path ain't cut out like everybody else's. Even your spiritual path is very individual. It's like fingerprints. It's very fucking individual. There are some similarities, but not nobody's spiritual path is going to be the same. That walk is not going to be the same, okay? So don't worry about what the next motherfucker think about what you did in your past. And sometimes you have to move away from your hometown because motherfuckers won't let you forget your past. You ain't even thinking about it no more, and they keep throwing it up in your face, referring to you as the high school hoe, and you 35 years old. You ain't been in high school in 15 years. Okay, Spirit, what's going on? What's crowning the reading, Spirit? What is crowning this reading, please? And thank you, Spirit. Mm. Worrying happens. Don't worry about what these folk think. Worrying ain't going to change the outcome. What you need to know is that being happy means that you are on your right path. Don't give a fuck what these folk think about what you did in your past. They Listen, I'm dead ass serious, man. Just got through telling my son that. They don't make you, that don't make whatever you went through. That's not your current situation. That's not who you are. That is an experience that you had in your life. Now you got to draw from that experience. 
in this physical reality, the best way to learn is through experience. Like I said, no matter whether it was a good experience or a bad experience, it's what you take from it. Bottom of the deck, peace. Come to a state of peace in your life, man. Listen, you are a being of love and you need to release all negative energy. People, <laughs> sometimes people want to keep you confined to your past because they ain't able to move on. They ain't able to learn from the shit they been through. They stuck in their same cycle. They still out there hoeing. They still out there taking drugs. They still out there selling drugs. You see what I'm saying? And so because you have moved on, you're now in your happiness. You're now in your state of peace. Motherfuckers want to make you feel... How they feel. Misery, love, company. Period, point blank. The next card behind that is blame. Spirit said people need to be responsible for their own well-being at the end of the day. At the end of the day, okay? So, I don't know who this is for, but don't, I don't give a fuck what it was that you did. Draw from it. Draw from that in the present moment, in the here and now. What can you do in the here and now to be a better version of yourself? That's it. Am I ashamed of anything that I've done in my past? No, it's my past. It's my life. It's my walk. Nobody's going to understand what I've been through and why I made the choices that I made for myself. It ain't for nobody else to understand. It's for me to understand and draw from that and in this present moment continue to make choices that are going to bring me closer to my higher self for my soul's growth. Because that's what we're here for. Evolution, your soul needs to continue to grow. And in order to grow, you have to go through some shit. If you ain't going through shit, you ain't growing. How? Okay? Alright. So, let's see, Spirit. What else going on? God damn it. Change and new life. That's what's going on. That is what's going on. Okay? There's a change about it. The change is happening. And folks don't want to let you forget. They want... To keep you stuck in your past. You over here in a whole new life. And you go home and visit. And I'm serious. Okay. For some of y'all. They want to refer to y'all. To whatever it was that you've done in your past. Or whoever you were in your past. And you in a whole new life. Shit is changing. And these motherfuckers need to change. And if you hear anybody coming to you saying. Oh. They think they better than. They changing or whatever. That's what the fuck you supposed to do. Evolution evolution you're supposed to evolve you're supposed to change you don't want to be like them and be stuck in the same cycle she's still hoeing y'all was hoeing together in high school and she's still hoeing no you see what i'm saying you need to take something from that experience that you had in your life like i said whether it's good or bad it's all on how you look at it because it's your life take what you can from that experience and use it in the present moment to create your new life but it's some, it's some change that's got to happen. You can't continue to do the same shit. Okay, so take this reading as it resonates. But it's something that Spirit needs y'all to know. My daughter's in the background, knocked out. She's snoring. Ignore that. Listen to the message, okay? Period. So let's see. What's going on, Spirit? Ooh, that came out real quick. Yeah, magician. You have everything that you need to manifest the life that you want. Then let don't go on and open it up right quick, sorry, because it's loud. Go ahead. Rip it open. Go ahead. Okay. So anyway, he trying to open his little bag and that shit was getting on my nerve. So anyway, you you're the magician. You have everything you need, bruh. You got your sword of truth. You got your stability with the pinnacles. You have your uh your feelings and your emotions about it. And you have the passion. Look. That sword is your truth. From whatever you went through in your past. You got your truth. You got your feelings about it with that cup right there. You have the, the stability with that pinnacle. And that wand. You have the passion. So you have everything that you need to move forward and create this new life. Period. Point blank. I don't need nobody being stuck in the past or... Allowing the past to hold them back because of things that they went through. It's all about change. That's what it's about. Growth and change. Spirit says change in the wind. And if you're not changing, then you're doing something wrong. That's how you need to look at it. Don't let nobody say, oh, they changing. They think they're better than motherfucker. If you're not changing, you still doing the same shit that we were doing in high school. Something is wrong. Something is definitely wrong. Okay, Spirit, what else is going on? 
And I'm just using hoeing as an experience, you know, as an example, whatever it was in your life, okay? Take what resonate, bruh. Take what resonate. I just saw 1010. Shit is changing. Motherfuckers is closing out cycles and wish a bitch would, okay? Star card. Wishes are being fulfilled and healing is happening with this change. Yes. Like I said, you have your truth. You have your feelings. You have your stability and the passion behind it in this present moment right here to create this new life, right? To create this change. And change brings about balance, right? Fives in tarot represent change. Before the five, you got the four. What is the four? Let you know that your spirit is guiding you. Spirits are surrounding you and they're guiding you through this change. There's the fives. So if you're going through a change, the next thing after five is the six. It's going to bring about balance, right? Healing in a new life. These past experiences that you've been through, that's what made you the fucking magician. Because of the things that you've been through. Right? You had to go through some, some lies to get your truth. I see 1111. You had to go through some hurtful shit so you could have your feelings. You had to go through um, some unstableness to know what the fuck stability is, right? You had to go through a situation where there was no passion so that you could have your passion. You have every fucking thing that you need and unconditional love for yourself. That's an infinity sign. You have unconditional love for yourself. This magician is very fucking powerful. And this is you. And so you're about to take everything that you've learned in your past in this present moment and create change that's going to create this new life for yourself. Period. And I feel like it's going to be something that wishes are, are going to be fulfilled. Because right here you got your happiness. Happiness means that you're on your right path. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Period. And Spirit says every choice that you make is bringing you close to your higher self. So don't, what you know what I'm saying? What you worrying about it for? Okay, we got somebody who done been to jail. And now they want to stand up and speak to people. Be a motivational speaker. Don't let what motherfuckers tell you, oh, you can't do this because you are a convicted felon. What? You Listen, you a magician. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. You have everything that you need to create this new life. You got to go ahead, right? You're being guided with this star. You're being divinely guided and protected. So don't let nobody tell you that you can't do something. Period. Whoever that is that want to go out there and be that motivational speaker, don't let nobody tell you you can't do it because you have a felony. And if somebody that want to go to college and you ain't going to be able to do it because you got a felony, man, well, there's a weird there's a way. You may not be able to get grant from the government as far as, like, them Pell grant because you got a, a, a felony. But there's certain grants out there that will pay for you to go to school because you have a felony. Well, there's a weird there's a way. And if somebody's sitting here telling you you can't do something, listen, people can only meet you as, as deeply as, as they have met themselves. So if they're telling you they can't, you can't do something, they're projecting onto you what they feel like they can't do. That's what they really mean to say. When somebody comes to you and tell you, oh, you ain't going to be able to do that, that's because they feel like they ain't going to be able to do it. Right? Don't let nobody project onto you. And don't worry about what nobody thinking about you and your past. Your past is what got you right here. That's how you are this magician. And you're about to create this new life. I'm talking about baby. Spirit say that's the fucking truth. That's the damn truth. Everything I just said is the truth. Now stand in your truth. Stand in your truth, man, whoever this is. I'm, I'm really picking up on somebody who could have lived um, what society would, would deem is not such a good life. Right? On the wrong side of the tracks. And this person is wanting to change their life, right? They're wanting to create a new life and live a, a different way. And they want to, to take the lessons that they learned from the past to create this new life. And you got motherfuckers in your ear telling you that you can't do it. That's the, that's the devil. The devil is here to put this in you. But see, what, what the Most High God needs you to know is that you're the magician. When you, when you know you're the magician, this you don't have no worry. Because mm -mm, you go out there and you manifest what you want. And what I see you manifesting is a brand new life. That you are being divinely guided to do so. Spirit say all you got to do is stand in your truth. It's your truth. It's your life. Your path. Not everybody's going to understand that. And that's all you need to know. It's not for them to understand. Stop trying to get everybody to like you. And understand where you coming from. And see why you try to explain to them why you made the decision that you made in your life. Fuck that shit, man. It ain't for them to understand. 
I'm talking about mama, daddy, sister, brother, boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever this is in your life is telling you you can't do something, you're going to probably have to separate yourself. Like I said earlier, you might have to move away from your hometown. Everybody still referring to you as the high school hoe. You're going to have to rem remove yourself. You see what I'm saying? Some of y'all been in the place too damn long anyway. You got weeds growing out the house. Some of y'all been there too damn long. You want to create a new life. Some of y'all got to move away. Period. Start all the way over. You have everything you need to do so. God ain't going to bring you this far and just leave you. Spirit say all you got to do is stand in your truth. Stand in your truth and it will happen. You will be able to create this new life, whatever it is that you want for yourself. Because of the things. It's simply because of the things that you've been through. People get on my nerves. Talking about, <coughs> you know, they want to judge you because they ain't never done certain things. No, oh, I've never had to do that. I've never had to live like that. I've never had to sell drugs. I've never had to do this. And that. Okay, well, good for you. Okay, everybody wasn't born like that, bro. And like I said, in this physical reality, the best way we learn as human beings is through experience. And so whatever was placed in front of us, because we're all individuals, we're all different, that was our path, right? That was our path that we chose and we had to do certain things or we felt at the time that we had to do certain things in order to survive. Some people don't have to do that. Right? But whoever I'm talking to has been placed in a situation where they felt like they had to do certain things in order to survive. And now this person's ready because of the growth that they've done, um, the ascension that they have been through. They are ready to create a new life. They're ready for change. Right? And so you got motherfuckers out there telling you you can't do it or putting doubt in your mind, putting worry in your mind. Spirit say you need to kill it. Right? Kill the devil. Put an end to this devilish shit, this karmic energy. This, this, this worry right here, fear, doubt, worry, uh, allowing what other motherfuckers think and say to get to you, you got to put an end to that. And y'all know anytime there's an ending that you see the sun back there, there's always a brand new beginning. There it go right there. The moment that you put an ending to how motherfuckers think and what they feel and how they, uh, what they say about you, when you put an ending to, to all of that and standing your motherfucking truth knowing that you're the magician. You're going to have a brand new beginning in that life. Something that you're going to be very excited about. Page one's right here. I see it. Brand new beginning at life. But you got to put an end to this low vibrational energy. Because that's how worry and doubt is. It's low vibrational. Because when you walk in faith, faith, you're walking through your higher self. Because if you look at this card, my lighting is horrible, y'all. But if you look at this card, you see that face right there? That's spirit. This person knows that as they're going to create this new life, spirit is right there with them. So, and you know, sometimes that's all you need. For some of y'all, this is going to be your first time out here standing on your own two feet. It's going to be your first time doing it. Maybe um, this is someone, I'm feeling a lot of things, okay? This is someone who's getting a divorce. Like I said, they've been in that house for a long time. They've been in that commitment for a long time. It became a burden. It became very heavy. And so there's a change in the wind happening. Okay? And what I say, change brings about balance. Break that bitch down into two and what you get. Six. Six talks about balance. Period. Point blank. So this is, for some of you guys, you, you are freeing yourself from a marriage or some type of commitment. Something that held you down. And even if it isn't a commitment, it's the label that people have put on your life because of your past choices. You have to free yourself from that shit. And all of it ain't nothing. It's just all toxic. It's all low vibrational energy and spirit. So you got to put an end to it so that you can create your brand new life and be excited about it. Because spirit say, and I feel like whatever this is that you're wanting to do, you are excited about it. And that's why I say spirit, this is what spirit say, you need to know that being happy means that you're on your right path. So this is something that people, whoever this is I'm talking to, this change that you're wanting to do in your life, you got motherfuckers in your ear telling you it's not going to work. You can't do this because you're a convicted felon or you can't step out on your own. Got you feeling like you ain't going to be able to make it because you're so used to it being you and your husband or you and your wife, right? Um, you can do this. And you, you're going to do it by yourself. It ain't two magicians on here. It's one person. And you're taking your life experiences. Like I said, the truth, the feeling, the stability, and the passion to create this brand new life that you have for yourself. You're going to stand in your truth and you're going to do it. You're going to show a whole hell of a lot of people. Because you that star right here. 
You can have a whole bunch of people looking like, wow, they did that shit. Yeah, I did it, motherfucker. Okay? And I'm happy as hell. But for some of y'all, it's going to start when you put an ending to this energy right here, whatever this is. For some of y'all, it's voices in your head. For some of y'all, it's the way you think about yourself. For some of you, it is what you have allowed other people to project onto you. Like I said, people can only meet you as deeply as they have met themselves. If you're talking to someone who's been in the same town their whole life, they ain't never experienced nothing really outside of that <clears throat> comfort zone. When you're telling this person, yo, I'm, I'm finna leave this little bit out of town. I'm going to California to pursue my dreams. That ain't gonna never work. And da, 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 da. They're saying that because this, they, they coming from they self. They thinking from their own mind frame. They feel like if they was to walk out there, that would never work because they would be leaving their comfort zone. Some shit that they've been in. Wherever you've been, you've outgrown it. You've been there too long. The weeds is growing outside the damn house, okay? It's become a burden. It's heavy. You've been trying to carry it, carry it, carry it. And whatever this is, it's keeping you confined, like just keeping you tied down. It is, okay? This could be anything in your life, bro. Take it as it resonates. But whatever it is, if it goes against your truth, because like I said, this is your life, it's your path. It's not for everybody to understand. So if it goes against your truth, then it's low vibrational, period. Period. And that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. So let's put an end into that shit. Fuck what everybody think, what they got to say. Go to what makes you happy because for whatever, for whoever this is, it's a wish fulfilled. Whatever this is you about to create, it's a wish fulfilled. So do it. Stop worrying. There you go. Speak your fucking truth. Thank you, Spirit. King of Swords. Get the clarity around this situation. The clarity that you needed was to understand that people can only meet you as deeply as they have met themselves. Most of these people projecting onto you anyway. And some of y'all, I just saw that some of you guys are trying to go towards a soulmate. Okay? And you got motherfuckers telling you it ain't gonna work. How the fuck do they know what ain't gonna work for you? Like I said, if it goes against your truth and your happiness, then it's not for you. 22, 22 on the phone. It's of low vibration. You need to leave that shit alone, period. Stand in your motherfucking truth. Stand in your truth. Some of y'all really are trying to be single from a situation. Some of y'all could be trying to leave a water sign, okay? Some of y'all could be trying to leave a water sign and choose a fire sign to give a love offer to. Oh, shit. I'm just going off of what I see now. Take this reading as it resonates. But for somebody out here, they're going towards a soulmate. They're leaving the water sign, going to a motherfucking uh, fire sign after they done got a divorce. Right? Because they view that fire sign as their empress. Yes, they do. Now, that's what I see. That ain't for everybody, but it's damn show for somebody. Go towards your happiness. Follow your heart. Period. Okay? What else, Spirit? What else does my collective need to know about this energy? Bam, bam, ba bam, bam. Somebody scared. Eight of, eight of fucking swords is fear. And that's all this is right here. Fear. Like I said, if it's not of your truth, it's low vibrational. Fear is low vibration. When you walk in faith, you're, walk, you're living through your higher self, and that's of high vibration. Spirit says every choice that you make is bringing you closer to your higher self. As long as you stay stuck in a situation where that you know, you know you done outgrew it. Look at the weeds growing outside the house. The situation that you are in or staying stuck in is a burden. It's heavy as fuck. You're trying to carry it all by yourself. And, and this new life, you want to be free. And wherever you're trying to go, spirit is God, and your spirit is right there, Okay. Not on this card. It, the, the shit is just too heavy. It's become too heavy, okay? And so this fear, you're going to have to put an ending to this fear. And the only way to do that is to stand in your fucking truth. King of Swords, Ace of Swords. Stand in your truth and follow your motherfucking heart. Period, point blank. That's going to create forward movement. For some of you guys, you're simply needing to communicate this to someone. Eight of Wands talks about communication and forward movement. For some of you, you need to stand in, you need to get in that King of Swords and communicate your fucking truth to whoever the fuck this is right here and tell them, bro, I'm done. I can't, I can't do this anymore. I'm tired. I don't want to do it anymore. I've outgrown it, okay? I'm not going to get anything else out of this situation. I can barely continue to carry this shit on my motherfucking back, okay? And I'm done. Some of y'all need to speak your motherfucking truth and free yourselves from the situation so that you can go to what is... 
a wish fulfillment for you. And all you need to know moving forward, the Spirit said, if you happy about this decision that you make, then you on your right path, period. I mean, that's just what it is. Speak your fucking truth and put it into the fear. Put it into the fear because it's low vibrational and it's toxic and it's keeping you from living in your motherfucking true power because you are the magician and that's what you need to know. Whoever this is needs to know that they have everything they need to manifest the life that they want. What else, spirit? What else they need to know? Whoever this is for. Yeah, somebody really trying to go give a love offer to somebody else. Go do it. Because your cup runneth over for love for this person, for this fire sign, this empress. Right? And you want justice. The only way you're going to get the goddamn justice is when you open your motherfucking mouth. Some of y'all simply just need to open your damn mouth. Open your mouth, speak the truth, and that's going to create forward movement. This communication is going to create forward movement. Period. What's this Ten of Swords, spirit? Four of Wands. Yeah, there you go. Put it into that shit and go towards your destiny. You worried about it. I see you worried about it, okay? But it, you want this. And some of y'all listen fucking Leo, okay? Or a cancer or whatever. But this person wants a high level of communication. I mean, I said communication. Commitment. But they're needing to walk away from something first. That's what they need to do. They're needing to put it. For some of them, they're needing to put an end to a marriage. Like I said in, up here. I said, you've been with this shit too fucking long. And it's got you feeling like you ain't gonna be able to do it. Yes, in the fuck you can. You can do whatever in the fuck you wanna do. Spirit say you need to put an end to this old, whatever um, home situation this was, whether it was a marriage, commitment, whatever the fuck you thought was stable, you need to put an end to it. You need to put an end to it and start working, Eight of Pentacles, start working towards what you know to be destiny, what you know to bring you motherfucking happiness, right? Wishes fulfilled. That's what you need to do. Because this situation was destined to happen. Like I said, for some of y'all, it's a soulmate that you're trying to go to. Go on and go. What you, you, you're sitting here worrying. All of this is just low vibrational energy. And you need to release it so that you can have a brand new passionate beginning with the person that you view as your better head. And it's just that simple. It's just that simple, bro. There will be justice. There will be justice. I feel like this person feels the same way about you. But until you open up your mouth and say something... You'll never know. How many licks do it take to get to the middle of it? Until you pop the damn wrap off and start licking, you ain't going to never know. Okay? Stand in your truth. Speak your truth. That's going to create a forward movement. A brand new passionate beginning on your destiny, your path. Like I said, it ain't for everybody to understand. Destiny, this is your path. Your path. Take action. Damn it. Take action. Stop sitting here juggling. Should I stay in this old situation? You know, I grew the shit. Ten of Pentacles, this is a family situation or something that was once stable and solid, but you have outgrown it. Stop trying to juggle your happiness with this baggage. This is baggage. It's heavy. You need to release it. Okay? Take action. What did, what what is this? Uh, King of Wands. The King of Wands takes action. Go get your partner. Like I said, for some of y'all, this is a twin flame situation, soulmate type shit. You need to take action over here towards this Queen of Wands because you know this Queen of Wands is your empress and you got a lot of love for her. Your cup runneth over. So go on and get it, bruh. Whoever this is, go on and get it. Get up out your head. Get up out your head and speak your truth. Speak your truth, stand in your truth, and you will have a brand new passionate beginning because you're the magician. Only you can do this. Nobody else can come in and do this for you. Nobody. Okay, I feel like whatever you was going through in this situation right here, you had to go through that in order to get to this magician energy. Right? Like I said, you had to deal with some shit that was unstable to know what stability is. You had to go through some hurtful shit so that you could have the feelings. You had to stand in some, you had to deal with some lies and shit so that you could know your truth. Deal with some shit that you was no longer passionate about so that you could go towards your passions. And so now you have everything you need to manifest this brand new beginning with this empress. So go do it. Get in this damn chair right here and go do it. It's just that simple. Leave that water sign alone, whoever the fuck this is in your life. For some of y'all, it's family members, right? Some of y'all, it's parents. Whoever nurtured you or you thought was nurturing you, you've outgrown this shit. You're ready to stand on your own two feet. You're not ready to be confined in whatever was a past situation for you. It's the past. We are needing to focus on the present, the here and now, so that we can create this new life for us. 
Keep living in the past. Keep doing the same old shit. Stuck in the same old cycle. You're going to get the same shit. If you eat hamburgers every day, your shit going to be the same. Literally. The shit that you shit going to be the same. Add some motherfucking greens, some salad, some rice or something. Get you something. Something new. Because you done outgrew this shit right here. And it's time to go. Period. And only you can do it. And you have what you need to do that. Get your courage. This is somebody who need to get the courage up. Stop worrying. Damn. Get in your strength, Leo. Whoever this is I'm talking to, get in your strength, bruh, sis. Okay? And go be happy. Listen, your soul might come here over and over and over again, but you don't have but one life in this meat suit. Why spend it being miserable? You've outgrown that situation. That means no more happiness is going to come from that. Right? Go towards your wishes fulfilled. And know that being happy means you're on your right path, and it's just that simple. It's just that simple, okay? That's what I have for you guys. It's your girl, Spiritual Sag. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Both on, okay? If y'all need a reading, hit your girl up. And whoever this is, get, man, go on and get it. Go get that love. Go get that new life. Go and be that speaker, that preacher, whatever it is that you want to do. Don't let nobody tell you you can't. Shit. What did my son say the other day? I said, if I do this and if I do that, he said, man... If any of your vocabulary of manifestation, I knew that it was my spirit God speaking to me through my son, okay? Because he was very powerful and I felt that shit. So don't tell, don't let nobody tell you you can't do this, okay? If anything, do it. Just prove that ass that you can. Hell. Go be happy, man. You've been bogged down for too damn long. Something has kept you bogged down for too fucking long. And it's time for a change in the wind to happen. So you can bring about your happiness and create this new life. Abundance, okay? Because anytime you're standing in your truth, it's your truth. Abundance will come by, will come through from that. Because that's our spirit want us to do, is to be our true, authentic selves. And there's reward in being obedient. Standing in your truth and whatever it is that you're trying to get, there will be forward movement, I promise you. Okay? All right, I love y'all. Till next time. Bye.